second daily P. I'm 5'6", but me equal makes me 6'5". You mean my height, okay? <laughs> daily P, episode two. It's been a minute since we've done the last one. We got the strength edition here with Marco, the GOAT. One of our first sessions back like in, in preparation for our next fight. So we're going to do that and then we're going to go up FAI straight in with Shando. A lot of pad work. If you've seen Shando in the pads before, you know it's hard. So two tough sessions back to back. It's Wednesday, body's sore. I'm just starting to ramp up the training again. So I'm absolutely aching right now, never mind after two sessions. But uh, yeah, let's do it. Daily P episode two. Case where to just increase my height. Next fight, I'm gonna be six foot. Nobody's gonna ask. Strapped. Fucking strapped. It may look like it's 20 degrees outside, really warm, but trust me, it's not zero. What's up, Pra? I was saying there, Shando, you were like, we were one day, we were just fucking going so hard in the pads, and I was. He was wearing the leg pad that's like got no pan left and I was booting in the kicks and all. He was like fucking after it. He was like, my leg's fucking all. I was like, yeah, you love it though. You love like pushing us hard. And he was like, you're just saying that so you can fucking kick me hard. <laughs> <laughs> trying to please me, you know what I mean? It's just good feeling the car here, didn't it? Yeah, you love it. Yeah. keep me going hard. Yeah, it is unreal. Like. You know what I mean? And he went home and I said, a bruise on my legs. It sounds, it sounds for us. I'm at the finish line. It sounds for us anyway. Ah, that's... Say nothing, say nothing. Gonna smash it out the day here. Get that cardio back. Oh, you're in the right person. Fucking right. He loves it. You know what I mean? Definitely fatigued from the fucking lifting. For sure, but... There's something I like about doing that as well, like coming in from... Like, we, this is the normal routine is to lift on a Wednesday morning and then go straight in the pads. It's usual for me, but I like it because it's like you have to push through like a different type of fatigue. It's not like going from like a grappling session into a striking session. It's like a different fatigue where it's like your whole body's like, oh my God, I'm fucked there. But you just push through it. And when you get the two sessions done back to back, it's sick like. <laughs> That wasn't me, Adam, that was Paul. Oh, Big new shoes. Stay alive, stay alive. Uh, uh, you can't uh, tell uh, by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man, no time to talk. Words it loud, women more. Been kicked around since I was born. Help, sir. Oh, no, Help, sir. Oh, 
for it. Once you get a taste for it, like it's yeah. addictive. Yeah. There's it's hard to get a even just jujitsu. Like it's hard to get, get ah, that feeling of hard grapple. Like, every day you learn it. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I'm you know, what, 25 years. Oh. I'm still learning these stuff. Every day is just. You know what I mean? So it's different. Like. Yeah, that's it. It's great. Sports the best in the world. Yeah. There it is. Look at the growth of the sport in the last five years. BJJ and MMA. Like it's. The industry is just insane how it's going and it's it's just gonna go times ten like. So it is it's very exciting to be a part of and to be not an early adopter at all, but in the game and it's when it's still not quite at its peak, do you know what I mean? It's still learning. You see the level of UFC fights every year, it's just going like that. You watch the fight of the year from five years ago and it doesn't even compare to most bouts these days, like it's it's fucking crazy the level. Training done for the day, it's about, I don't know what time it is, about half two, near three. Got a massage with Chris at four, so we haven't shot that before. So yeah, good old day in the life. It's a good life, I must say. Shout out always Ruben's meal, come on. What I gotta say, like, absolute goat. The absolute goat. Don't know where I'd be without them, genuinely. Everything all tracked. Look at that. So good. Shando's the man, like. He just fucking, he's, he just loves it like he actually does. I know we were joking about that beforehand, but he just loves, just, he just loves training. Like, he does like three sessions a day, every day, ever. Like, anytime we're going away for fights, he's running. Every day he's lifting weights. Like, we have told you before, but before I fought Chapa, like, he ran, done a half marathon in the day that I was fighting him. Like, he, to be fair, he got lost. He didn't plan on it, like. But man's an absolute machine, like, and it's such an unreal asset to have because a lot of people I've worked with before. I mean, they want to do pads and all that. There, it's great and it's it's amazing. But like, nobody wants to get in the fucking trenches with you and fucking go just for an hour straight, like. So, unreal asset having Jambo, like, it's unreal. Soccer like fucking and he's like, do you know I'm just gonna do MMA every night. Yeah, I'm not even thinking beat up. It's the best. <laughs> just get a black guy. It was good. It was good. Big man must have got a pump on there before he came down there. Look at the arms. He'd be like, here, he's coming today. Yeah, yeah. First time I've ever done this guy. Like, I got him inside in the the mindset, obviously, because there's not a lot of people that'll sit through a 90 minute sports massage. And just breathe. Uh, this, this motherfucker just. <laughs> just breathe his own way through it and did not break once. It just gives you a wee insight then into how people, how people react to pain. Or physical pressure. Mental as well. Tapping into the sympathetic nervous system. The fight or flight. Tapping in the middle of it, like. So I think that's actually probably. One of your biggest strengths, like? Big time. Yeah. Nobody was just saying that. Um, we were training, we'd done two hard sessions there, back to the back. And just driving home, like, I always doing the deep breathing, like, just like, <laughs> driving home. And I was like, Rory, by the way, I do this all the time. <laughs> like, well, that's don't it, be man. getting creeped out, like. No, that's this what, is me that's just what recovering. Like. Because you're doing that all the time. Yeah. To me, that's almost like a skill on itself for sure it's the yin and yang like yeah. as hard as you're putting out you gotta be recovering that hard as well yeah. i better do some damage out there in here <laughs> it's heavy as fuck you know I mean? it's so heavy you've already got enough like, weapons it's like the elbow <laughs> <laughs> oh that's a sweat there what do you feel see it uh, you're going to work like what is it sweat <laughs> sweat Hey, so it's a full workout for me. <laughs> it's a full workout. Oh god, nice guy. Imagine fighting. <laughs>
and we coat the rod, and then that creates a suction, which then right pin his skin, and it pulls the tissue up, pulls the muscles up, and it just gives them that kind of decompression of the as well. So it's nice, just an extra release. See the blood flow within a few seconds. Like, look at that already. The dark marks, marks that stay for a long time, is a sign of high tension. So, if the marks aren't really clearing, it'll show that there was more stagnated blood in that area, the blood circulation wasn't so good. And this kind of like boosts it there. So it kickstarts the healing process. And I'm like sitting between relaxed as fuck and I can feel I can feel the soreness from earlier sessions. I'm a mixture. see the big man today, big Chris, what a guy, um, has been looking after me for probably a year now, maybe, actually probably longer than a year, so he has such a, such a vital, vital part of the team and of my routine now, like I genuinely would be lost without him at this point, like he's completely changed my viewpoint, as I was just telling you, on on how good massages and how beneficial they can be like anything I'd got in the past had been like been like sweet but like Chris is just like on, on another level like you seen him like the man was sweating buckets there he was getting stuck in <laughs> he was getting stuck in like towards the end of the week I'm doing a lot more like cold exposure stuff alongside obviously my mobility and my sauna work so it's all good it's all part of a fucking really good routine like I have such a well-oiled system here at home, like it's it's really really good. But uh, yeah, that's us for the day. Um, I'm gonna hit well, basically I'm gonna hit the gym now and do some mobility work, which is just always has to be done, like so important. Which is also requires a good bit of discipline, cause coming out of that there, it's pretty tiring, like. But do a bit of mobility work, hit the sauna for about an hour, and then that's me done for the day, like so. That's daily P number two. Let's go. Yeah.